guys, what's up? It's Ashton. Today's video is going to be a full face first impressions video. I have recently gotten a whole bunch of makeup from my birthday money and, you know, stuff like that. And I decided that it would just be, you know, a fun idea to do a full face first impressions video. I've only done one of these before and uh, people seem to like it and I liked it. I love getting you makeup and I love filming it. So, yes, some of these products I have tried, like, um, what's it called, the brow products, I have, like, sketched out my brow, but I haven't, like, you know what I mean, like, worn it throughout the day. So, it's still kind of a first impressions video. I've also swatched the palette as well, and some products I don't have, so, like, bronzer and blush I didn't have as well as concealer. So, just thought I would, you know, leave a disclaimer out. Okay, anyways, let's you know, get on with the video. All right, so I have like a little board right here. So the first thing we're going to go in with the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. I have heard zero reviews. I've heard no one talk about it. And this was fairly cheap. So I'm very excited to see how this works. No one has talked about it that I've heard of. This is what it looks like. It's like a really cool, like a medicine themed. It's like a gel consistency. And yes, yeah. This is a very, very jelly. So, it smells nice and it does have a, have a fragrance, but I don't know what it is. I really like how it's, it kind of feels like a silicone primer, but not really. It's, it's hard to explain, but I really like it. I like the texture of it. So for brows, I'm going to go in with this Amuse Cosmetics Pro Eyebrow Pencil. pencil in the shade brunette, they did not have taupe. So I'm using brunette. This was a dollar from Shop Miss A. I have tried this out a little bit before, like I said in the beginning of the video. Looks like that, and I'm just going to do my brows off camera so it doesn't take so much time. Okay, brows are done. I just topped it off with the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper in the shade Light Medium. Y'all know I absolutely love this stuff. So for the brow product, I am not a fan of this. It's very hard to get a precise line, and I just, I'm not a fan of it. It's shaped like a triangle like the brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills And it was just very hard to get a nice looking brow in my opinion So I would skip on this if you guys are a beginner and are just not used to like the little triangle point Okay, now moving on to foundation. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation this is in the shade pearl if you guys were wondering I got this online So I wasn't sure about my shade, but I use this app called foundation and basically you just use your current foundation shades And it comes up with the shade that you need And so yes, let's hope this matches me Okay, I have like swatches right there from the palette that I'm using and you guys are gonna be obsessed You're I can't wait to try out that palette though It's the Jaclyn Hill palette if you guys were wondering Okay, off the bat, it is very yellow, as you can see. Also, the primer feels very lightweight. I can't feel it at all on my skin, but I can feel how it smooths out my skin, if that kind of makes sense. Also, right there on my nose, that was my dog. She uh, kind of bit my nose. She's a puppy, so can't, you know, really blame it on her. Well, yes, you can, but well. Okay, let's blend this out. Okay, it's coming into my skin tone a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we're good. It's my skin tone. Right off the bat, it's pretty matte. It's drying very quickly on my skin. I don't know. It's all, you know, blended in. Right off the bat, on my nose, it's clinging to dry pageants patches and kind of like flaking off almost um the primer minimized some pores but it's not the best it's not like the baby skin so i'd go for the baby skin um it feels like the baby skin by the way um coverage i like the coverage but it's just seeming to cling to my skin i don't know i think it might be the primer because i don't know but I'll let you guys know how I like it, you know, without the primer and like with like different primers. But so far, I'm not really in love with the base makeup as of right now. I will zoom you guys in also. It looks nice on camera, so I'm not mad about that. I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. Love this concealer. Freaking phenomenal. Covers up everything. It's freaking just 
great. Y'all need to get your hands on this. Hopefully this will kind of bring everything, you know, back to, uh, you know, prettiness. But yeah, the foundation is just like flaking. Now my concealer's flaking on my nose. I have pretty, like, so my forehead gets pretty shiny, sort of, and uh, my nose usually gets shiny, but it's turned to dry, so I don't know what's up, but now my, like, my concealer is becoming very dry, which usually does not happen, so I'm pretty sure it's the primer. This looks very dry right now, but we're gonna set it with the RCMA No Color Powder. Um, everyone talks about this, so pretty hyped up to try it out. I kind of like, yeah, okay. How, how are we gonna do this? You know, let's just open it up and just dump our, my beauty blender in it. Okay, that went on as a very nice under eye bake. Usually lots of times powders skip on me, but this one, really looks great. Just gonna bake part of my forehead. My forehead gets shiny. And now we're gonna move on to eye. Oh, we're up closer now. So I put that all over. Now we're just gonna go in with this like chickadee shade and using this unicorn brush and just apply that in the crease as well. They're blending out very nicely. I will say that pigmentation is nice. When I swatched them, they were like, holy guacamole, they were pigmented. Like, wow. Okay, everything is blended very nicely. It's blending just phenomenally. I don't know how many times I've said that. Okay, we're kind of just going along with this eye look. So now we're just gonna go in with this shade right there, and we're gonna put that in the outer V. All right, there is minimal kickback. So that's phenomenal for those of you guys who aren't a fan of kickback. This shade is very nice. It's blending gorgeously. All these shadows, I have a feeling, are just gonna blend beautifully. Today's look, I'm kind of gonna go for like that blue on the lower lash line, I think. What do y'all think? I think that's gonna look phenomenal. Are very nice. Okay, now we're just gonna go in with a mix of this shade right here and this shade right there. And we're just gonna also put that in the crease slash outer V. We're just gonna kind of warm that up. If you get my drift, kind of like do that motion. We're also gonna drag that towards the inner part, like around right here to create a halo eye became even more closer. So what I just did is I just placed it right there and I'm blending back and forth and into the crease, kind of like in this motion, leaving that space open. All right, so now we're gonna go in with this gorgeous shade right here and we're gonna put that on my lid. First, we're gonna try it out without spraying anything and then we're gonna try it with spraying stuff. This was one of the colors that I swatched and holy pigment, it was gorgeous. Okay, these definitely would be very intense with a spray. Right now they're semi-intense. But you know, me being me, we're gonna use the Mario Badescu spray. Just spray it all in there and then go in. This is usually what I do when I want shadows more intense. Usually, oh yes, darling. Hunty fight, oh! Y'all, do you see? Morphe's quaking. Everyone's quaking. Holy shiz. I feel like it's kind of like the same tone, so I'm gonna go in with a dark shade. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here because it's kind of in the same family. And we're just gonna darken the crease a little bit more. I kind of wanna make this like three-dimensional, so I'm gonna go in with this shade right there and put it on the center of where I put that other gorgeous glimmer shade. I've already sprayed this paintbrush that I use for an eyeshadow brush with my Mario Badescu spray. And we're just gonna pop 
that onto the center. Ooh, girl, that looks cute. Now for the inner corner, we're just gonna take this frosty shade right there and pop that in the inner corner for a bright, bright inner corner. I also sprayed this little e.l.f. lip brush. I really like using the lip brushes for an inner corner highlight because they are everything. We're gonna drag the inner corner highlight upwards so it kind of meets with that shadow if you get my drift, like, kinda like that. Lower lash line, I'm thinking, let's do it. We're gonna go in with that bright blue and I'm using the same lip brush as I used for my inner corner. And you know what, we're gonna go under the lash line. Uh, we're gonna do it, yeah? I know it looks whack, but oh well. It's gonna change, it's gonna look real cute. So that blue shade was very underwhelming, honestly. It wasn't as neon as I thought it would be. So I went in with that sparkly blue one and I just kind of like livened it up. And this, I think, really brings some like ice to this fire look. I really like it. So now I'm just gonna apply lashes off camera and some mascara. We'll be using the Cara Lashes in 805. These lashes, eh, this is so dramatic. I can't, this is great. All right, we're just gonna dust off the bake with this Real Techniques brush. <sighs> okay, okay. This powder, my under eyes are a little dry. I will say that. But it's not clinging onto any, like it's not making things look weird. Like it's not leaving a, like a white cast. It's not leaving a white cast. We're just going to bronze with this Real Techniques multitask brush, part of the new uh, brush that I got and I'm, I'm using the Maybelline Mask Contour in the shade light to medium. I'm just gonna get into that contour. We're just gonna use this ugh, elf mirror. <laughs> oh well. I'm struggling to find like a really good bronzer. So y'all have a, any suggestions, please tell me. Okay, we are bronze and I also contoured my nose cause I have a giant nose and I hate. So now we're just gonna use the Benefit I just dug my hand into this makeup. Anyway, we're gonna use the Benefit Dallas blush because why not? So, yay. Alrighty, y'all blush is on. We're gonna use the Mary Luminizer by The Balm for my highlight. I have swatched this. I have never used it on my face or anything. I'm so excited. Ah, okay, mirror is so clean. We're gonna use this mirror because it looks gorgeous. So we're gonna use this brush, just gonna this is without a spray. Usually I spray my face. Without a spray. There's a nice highlight, but I'm a spray because I want it very intense. I sprayed my face to get more a banging highlight. Ooh, girl. Oh, you see that? Huh. All right, it's a little patchy right there because it looks like more blending there. I don't know if it's because of the powder that's picking up. Not quite sure. Ooh, I love it. I like this highlight. It's pretty. All right, everybody. Face makeup's done. Now we're just gonna top it off with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip in Celebrity Skin. Right, y'all. I added a little bit of Drug Lord in the center as well as some Family Jewels, and I used the Mac Sore Lip Liner to outline my lips. It's very dark. I thought this was gonna be like a more nude in person. It is like a more nude. On camera, it's coming off like a more gray. But um, I really like how this turned out. Uh, my nose is screaming help because it looks very peely. I'm pretty sure it's because of the primer. Because down here, I usually don't put primer down there, even though I should. Um, it looks fine down there, but everywhere else it kind of looks very dry. So I'm pretty sure it's the primer. We're gonna try it out without the primer later. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.